worried over the current economic recession in Nigeria. Of course, in this crisis situation, the, the Central Bank of Nigeria has a major role to play, particularly in determining uh, the interest rates. I would uh, beg to disagree with the Central Bank of Nigeria on the issue of interest rates, because this is a time when the government, the banking sector has to come in and play this role in terms of loaning out, loaning from making, uh, uh, making into, giving into the people loanable funds in terms of loans. And when the interest rate is so high, it becomes difficult for people to access that loan. So if they make loanable funds available to people, not only will people be able to assess them, it also enhances their... The chairman of the CSC said when he made the presentation before the committee, even if we have put everything in the budget as they have presented, it won't be sufficient to take care of what they need. And this is the light of the fact that what they actually presented to the budget office was different from what was given to them. So it's like when they, they requested for 10 billion and then they got 1 billion in national um, budget approval. But uh, nonetheless, uh, just as we said, our committee for the purpose of this uh, exercise is a subcommittee of the appropriation committee. So what that means is that uh, we are going to have to take a look at what they have requested from us, the what they want us to do, and then make a very big, uh, very strong case uh, to support their demand for more funds. So I won't say I'm entirely pleased, I'm not actually pleased, but we'll try our best possible to make sure that uh, we get them sufficient funding, as promised. Sir, so is there any legislative agenda to back ESCC action in the fight against corruption in 2016? Is there any legislative agenda to back it up? Yes, of course. Uh, last year we launched our legislative agenda, which uh, we approved on the floor of the House before it was eventually launched. Um, the fight against corruption is uh, one of the cardinal objectives and priorities that we have on the agenda. So uh, if that is the case, then uh, we will do everything within our best possible to uh, make sure that we, we grant them what they want. All right. Thank you. At least one person, the five ministries and then the NDAs. Well, uh, I won't say um, advice per se. I will just say that uh, the National Assembly promised Nigerians that uh, we would work on the budget very expeditiously and ensure that we pass it as soon as possible. Um, initially, we planned to pass the bill, the appropriation bill, by last month. But for some reasons, particularly uh, some inconsistencies which we discovered um, it had to be slowed down to be able to accommodate or uh, make necessary alterations and changes um, that's why it had to uh, get to this point before we passed this nonetheless at least uh, compared with the past we've been able to and we were very fast in doing it it was, it was presented last year uh, December and uh, this is three months after we passed the bill. Um, the Senate passed their own, uh, the high reps. This uh, afternoon also passed the bill. So it will be transmitted to uh, the president for his assent. And thereafter, the uh, commencement date will be on the date to be signed. Uh, hopefully, it will be sometimes this month. So uh, as you can see, uh, the uh, our benchmark for the crude is put at $38 per barrel, and that's the benchmark. Um, right now, it's, it's below that, but we are hopeful that very soon there will be an, uh, some, some improvement in the price, and then maybe it should go beyond that. And then anything above that will be excess, uh, even though right now we, we We've said it in the appropriation, the current appropriation bill that 
there's nothing like excess crude account. It's uh, been expressly forbidden. Uh, it has to go to consolidated uh, fund. But anything above uh, 38 will be regarded as excess and going into consolidated. I mean, passing the bill, passing the appropriation is not uh, the problem. Uh, the problem has always been implementation. Um, just like any law, they will tell you that. Uh, sorry, they, are, they will tell you that appropriation is, is not meant to be 100%. Uh, uh, appropriation is not meant to be 100% implemented. But uh, but we should look at appropriation the way we look at any law, any other law. It's an act of parliament. It means that it has to be uh, complied with. To letters, you cannot take away a particular portion of the law and say this is the part of the law I want to, I want to obey. This is the part I want to disobey. So appropriation law is act is an act that has to be implemented to the letter. Of course, we know that unlike some other laws, appropriation is being determined also by um, other factors outside, even of Nigeria, such as the. Um, economic policy, financial issues, and things like that. But again, we believe that the areas that will have direct impact on Nigerians should be uh, seen to have been implemented. We, we have uh, programs for youth, we have for women, and we have empowerment programs here and there. I think beyond any, any other area, we should look at those areas as very critical areas which the government must ensure that they are properly implemented. We also have some capital projects that will ensure that there is employment, 